AMD Ryzen AI iGPU beats the Intel Ultra Arc iGPU in games. Sanctioned China firms keeping on in the AI race. The 2040 Hz gaming monitor only 159 bucks. NVIDIA's Blackwell GPUs delay. Welcome to the Global Tech Roundup, I'm Frank. After Intel had to extend the warranty and release a patch to lower the performance of its 13th and 14th generation core CPUs due to series issues, it seemed like the Ultra Series mobile CPUs would be Intel's saving grace. However, a recent comparison test in multiple 3A games has shattered the Intel's hopes. AMD's Ryzen AI line HX 370 with a Radeon A119M iGPU has overwhelmingly beaten Intel's Ultra 155H with its Arc iGPU in these gaming tests. Even while using only 15 watts of maximum power compared to Intel's 28 watts, it seems that the losses Intel has suffered in the desktop processor market might be difficult to recover from the mobile market as well. At least without strong marketing companions and channel support policies, it will be very hard for Intel to turn things around. This year is shaping up to be Intel's toughest year ever. We've got a report that sanctioned Chinese firms are creating front companies to acquire AI chips. This is a classic game of cat and mouse, where the mouse is getting smarter and more elusive. The U.S. ban high-tech export to China not as effective as one might hope. My take? This is a clear sign that the global chain market is more interconnected than ever, and these tactics could lead to some unexpected tech innovations. And for more capitalism, let the tech communication be more freely is a key to innovation. I don't know whether the economists and politicians still remember it. Over at Amazon, you can snag a 240 Hz Acer Lytro 27-inch curved gaming monitor for just 159 US dollars. This is a steal for gamers looking to level up their setup without breaking the bank. But here's a twist. Is this a sign of a market oversaturated with gaming monitors? Or are we seeing a new era of affordability in high-performance tech? You decide. A high cup of NVIDIA as a Blackwell GPUs are alleged delayed due to design flaws. This delay affects major players like Microsoft, Meta, Google, and XAI who were expecting their massive GPU orders. My take? In fact, as per a former TSMC Fab 3 engineer familiar to us, the influence of this incident is not as significant as outside world supposed, because in accordance with NVIDIA's plan, products based on Blackwell, especially AI server systems, are actually delivered in just very small quantities this year, and the yield rate problem of TSMC's foundry caused by the flawed Blackwell GPU design is actually acceptable, because compared to the ultra high price of Blackwell products, such an increase in foundry costs 
is acceptable to both NVIDIA and TSMC. Moreover, after NVIDIA postponed the delivery of Blackwell products and made design modifications this time, the yield rate problem may be better solved. The new Blackwell GPU system solution, such as the matching and liability issues of the water cooling system, is still causing problems for NVIDIA and large number of supporting suppliers to accelerate the planned solution. The real potential of Blackwell to become NVIDIA's main perfect growth point is scheduled to be 2025. Thus, this delay is not detrimental to the entire industry. After all, Nobody desires the AI server cluster to be the next Intel 14th generation core CPUs. OpenAI has developed a tool to catch students who use ChatGPT for cheating. The irony isn't lost on me. AI created the problem and now it's stepping in to solve it. My thoughts? This is a digital game of cat and mouse, but who's really winning here? Student or AI? No, just business. Students are still subscribe to the GPT Plus plan to get better answers, and schools keeping on buying the anti AI cheating services. Win win. Major crypto exchange Coinbase is in the hot seat over alleged campaign finance law violations. Their chief legal officer is on the defense. But the real story here is the intersection of cryptocurrency and politics. Buckle up, because this is just the beginning after the moment Donald Trump and Bitcoin 2024 event. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has cut its Apple holding by half, a significant move in the investment world. While Apple remains their largest stock holding, the reduction speaks violence about the market sentiment. It's like a giant red apple. Still tempting, but maybe not as crisp as it once was.